to show you the metallic chloride salts in a flame. The first one is lithium chloride, sodium chloride, ordinary table salt, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, strontium chloride, barium chloride, and finally copper chloride. The question is why are all of these metallic chlorides giving off a different color in the flame which is called a flame test? And that's what we're going to do in our next foldable is build a foldable that contains the information that explains how these atoms and ions are making these different colors and where the energy is coming from. So for this foldable you're going to need two pieces of computer paper that you're going to tape along one of the seams here and then you're going to fold it up so that you have four sections. The first two sections you're going to have the foldable like this. So this is mine and the notes are behind me. For this part of the foldable, the major thing that you need to understand is that electrons can basically emit energy as a wave, so we can calculate it, we could draw the transverse wave, we could also look at the emission spectrum and the flame tests, and that these electrons are gaining energy, jumping to a higher energy level, and then coming back down to a lower energy level, and emitting the energy back to us. So each part of this foldable is going to include one facet of all of those different features. So on the back side, the most important thing you need to do is have your variables, constants, units, and metric conversions listed out because when we start to do the calculations, you'll need all this information to do this correctly. This is on the back side of your foldable, so if you take it, and this was the front, you're going to flip it closed, and this will be on the back side. The other part of the back side are the equations and examples. These are those equations and examples, and these go on the other half of the back side. And you'll want to work through four different types of calculations that relate to energy, frequency, and speed of light. Flame tests are a very qualitative way to analyze elements, especially if they were in an unknown. However, a better way that's a quantitative way is using transformers and gas emission tubes and a spectroscope. This is the element hydrogen as electricity is being passed through it and the electrons are jumping and falling and giving off that color back to you and this is helium. You'll notice immediately that both of these do not have the same color. However, if you use a spectroscope and you analyze the exact emission lines for the elements hydrogen and helium, what you'll notice is that each of them is different and gives off a unique set of emission lines that can be used to determine what element you are looking at. When you have your foldable completely open, you'll have four sections. The top section will be the electromagnetic radiation spectrum with all the different types of radiation, the visible light spectrum and the nanometers it has, and an approximate wave um, difference between low energy and high energy. On the next section down, you'll have the bright line emission spectrum represented three ways for the hydrogen atom. The emission spectrum of hydrogen, the different energy level changes that that electron could go through, which is called the Balmer series, to give off those four lines and a hydrogen atom diagram showing you the same thing of how those four different emission lines are produced in the hydrogen atom. The third section on your foldable on the inside will include the data taken from the flame test and the four stages of electronite citation that produces that visible light. The last section on the inside of the foldable will be how to draw and label a transverse wave so that we can understand the movement of the electron if it acts as a wave.